So today uh, we are going to be talking about uh, our speaking lessons and how we yes. perform our lessons. And that's oh, what we are okay. going to be talking about. And you are uh, gonna you are going to show us what you do in our online lessons. So Okay, uh, to start, we used uh, some ebooks, which uh, we use them as an ebook, which I am going to share with you right now. So, as you can see, this is one of our materials we use online all the time. Here, we want to talk about seasons and what are seasons and different types of weather conditions. As you can see in this picture, here we have, for example, green area, we have the snow. So here we can talk about the spring, winter, uh, rainy weather, snowy weather, and so on. In the book, always we have some questions, as you can see here, we talk about photo. So most of our materials are visual. So people can see photos or few people can see videos and we will talk about them. For example, here we want to talk about Sahara. So as you can see here, we have some pictures and we have some questions to guess, to think what we are going to talk about, what we are going to hear or what we are going to see. So. As you can see here, we have a video here. I showed a video, for example, with the sound. This is the Sonoran Desert in North America. It's 2,000 miles north of the equator. In the summer, the temperature can reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so here we have the video, we have the subtitle sometimes, and we show them. After the video, they are going to answer some questions here or some multiple choices or tests here. Then we move on. So we have a listening here. So if you want to speak, you should see and you should listen. So with listening, maybe there are some words you don't know about. Here, there is a list of words. You put them into the blanks. Put them into the blanks. Sometimes you make your sentence with this. And also, after that, we are going on this page. We are going to talk about the listening. This is not a video. This is a listening. Different types of seasons. So we have four seasons. And we are talking about each of them. And we are going to have a listening here. Okay. In the listening part. We are going to listen about one of the pictures, choose one of them. Then after the listening, we have a box here. In this box, we show you how, what phrases and what kind of sentences you are going to use when you want to talk about weather conditions. So in speaking, there are special sentences or phrases you should use in different situations to talk about. After here, after we did the listening, after we did the video, we're here to practice more and more and have a challenge to talk. Here we have autumn, spring, winter, the dry season, the rainy season, okay? For each picture, we put all the vo words we heard or we saw, put them together. Now this is your turn to make a sentence. For example, here, for example, this picture, this picture, it's a sunny weather. It's a, there is a sun, for example, in south of Turkey, or for example, there, there is lots of rain in north of Turkey. So we can talk about it. Now, adjectives, sun is a sun, but if you want to say the weather has a sun, so you say the weather is sunny. If you want to say, oh, there is a wind, you can say the weather is windy. So this is our method of uh, making my, our students to talk about. And also, after all of them, 
we practice more on the sentence structure. When do we use there is? When do we use there are? So there are some, for example, nouns. You can say one, two, three, four. So there is an apple on the desk. There are two apples on the desk. For, for example, for water, you cannot say that there are. You say there is some water in the fridge. So this is the way we are going to practice. And that would be all for the first unit, the first part of our unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in the first parts, you teach the relevant words, vocabulary, and then uh, you make the students watch the video. And at that time, yes. uh, during the video, students can take notes so they can improve their listening skills and also note taking skills and then uh, which is another important skill later on uh, the, the the exercises how much they understand the listening part how much they understand the video part and then you cover the important grammar points at the end of the session so uh, it's for for the speaking for a speaking class actually it covers most of the skills and important skills and also uh, it's you teach words vocabulary here which is another good uh, part of the lesson yes yes exactly that's what we do and in each session we have we have one video and one listening so so for each listening you understand for example when you want to talk to a uh, american person first of all you should understand what they are talking about then you can answer back so listening helps you to understand what they are talking about and also watching movie lots of turkish people ha watch movies especially on netflix so you can understand what is the topic about. You can understand with the, what movie is about. So these are helping them for both visual and also hearing. So they see and they hear. Yes, we work mm -hmm. on both of them, both yeah. of the skills. That's that's very good. And our students are uh, happy that they are showing progress. They are making progress and they are... Yeah. Uh, improving their speaking skills and they're improving their fluency and I think uh, listening and speaking also go hand in ha hand in hand so uh, listening actually feeds speaking the more you listen the better you speak eventually yes mm -hmm. of course yeah they are each other's complementaries yeah. And they need to work together. So you cannot say, I want to speak. So, okay, so how do you want to speak? Mm -hmm. You should, first of all, learn vocabulary, new words. Mm -hmm. After that, you should know in what situation, what kind of sentence English spoken people use. And the third one is that, okay, so you need some listening because if you want to talk to someone you should understand what they are talking about to start a conversation so these three hand in hand together makes you uh, speak fluently in english also yeah mm -hmm. okay mashat so this video uh, is to inform our uh, students our uh, prospective students or future students, how we yes. do our lessons online yes. and what we do, what yes. materials we use and how, uh, what yes. is you, what your lesson plan is. So thank you very much for your presentation. And I thank you so much for always providing good material for students, especially those are doing distant uh, education, which is very important. So I hope everyone be safe and sound and everyone be happy and have a good day. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. You too.